George Walker was born in 1922 in Washington, D.C., and died in New Jersey at the age of 96. His career as both pianist and composer is peppered with a series of firsts. He started piano lessons with his mother when he was five, and he graduated from the Oberlin Conservatory of Music when he was only 18. He then went on to study piano with Rudolf Serkin at the Cur Curtis Institute of Music, becoming the first African-American graduate of that school. In addition, he was the first African-American instrumentalist to appear in Town Hall, New York, and to play with the Philadelphia Orchestra. He was the first African-American instrumentalist to be signed by major management and the first African-American recipient of a doctoral degree from the Eastman School of Music. In 1996, George Walker won the Pulitzer Prize for music for his Lilacs, the first African-American to win that award. He was elected to the American Academy of Arts and Letters in 1999 and inducted into the American Classical Music Hall of Fame in 2000. The Detroit Symphony awarded him their first annual Classical Roots Award for a lifetime of achievement in American music. Lyric for Strings is George Walker's most frequently performed work. Like Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings, the lyric for strings was originally written for string quartet. It was the second movement of Walker's String Quartet No. 1. The piece begins with a short introduction. Each group of strings enters one after another. The first violins then play the main theme. They repeat and extend it, this time allowing the theme to grow to a greater peak. Next, the violas start the theme and the entire string orchestra rises to the central climax of the piece. It quickly subsides. Just as the piece feels like it is coming to a close, it starts again, builds, suddenly breaks off, and then gently subsides to the end. 